Well, believe it or not, the word only and the phrase the only don't mean the same thing. They have different logical functions. Therefore, when we translate statements that include these words and phrases, we're going to have to use different strategies for those translations. When we encounter a sentence that contains the word only, we're going to use the words that follow only as the predicate term of our standard form translation. But if we encounter a statement that contains the phrase the only, we're going to take the words after it and use those as our subject term. Okay, so only the words that follow only is going to serve as our predicate term, the words that follow the only, the phrase the only, is going to serve as our subject term. So if we get a sentence like, only people who live in Humboldt are freaky, then I know that this phrase right here is going to have to be translated as my predicate term. All freaky people are people who live in Humboldt. The only animals that live in this canyon are skunk. Okay, that tells me that that phrase, that, or that, that category that follows the only, that's going to be my subject to turn. All animals that live in this canyon are skunks because the only animals that live in this canyon are skunks. The only way to get rid of temptation is to yield to it. Okay. All ways of eliminating a temptation are ways that consist of yielding to it. Well, that's clunky. All right. So we just want to make a note to ourselves. <clears throat> the difference between only and the only in terms of a translation is that the words following the word only are going to be translated as our predicate term. And the words following the phrase the only are going to be translated as our subject term.